are are they here? Uh, are the interviewees here? And can they hear me? Uh, hello, yes. Med IT. Yes, they can. Oh, oh goodness, that's embarrassing. We're, could they hear us this whole time? Yes, Dean Richard. If you do need assistance, I'm right here. It, it kind I don't of need assistance. Uh, no, no assistance. There's, I never have problems with these things. I'm a natural, I assure you. And med IT staff are available to hastily rectify any technology. Dr. Richard, this is med IT. Uh, you seem to be muted again. Uh, did it happen again? Yes. Did it happen again? I was just getting to the really important part. I'll, I'll, I'm nearly done. <clears throat> Kindly let us know if you do experience any technological mishaps, however unlikely, and stay focused on bringing the best of yourself to the interview process. And before I let you go and wish you luck, I wanted to tell you the most important thing to know before you. 2025. This uh, is hello. Oh. Uh, hello, Met, Met IT. Hello. Met, Met IT. I, I think we have an intruder. Uh, there's been some mistake. This is the interview weekend dean's address, not not some lecture. They gave me, and uh, this is med IT. also giving a lecture med IT. Uh, to the med ones today. Uh, this, this is med IT. Um, Dr. Richard, we're going to need you to leave Microsoft Teams at this, at this time. Your, your time is up. Leave? Yes. No, there's been some mistake. Please. I, I was just about to tell them. The most important thing they need to know for the interview is is to be at the right place at the right time, as we just witnessed. Anyways, continue. Today's lecture is going to be on sexually transmitted diseases, and that's a great way to start the morning. Can somebody unmute their mic and tell me? Yeah, we can screen. Okay, perfect. So, G of chlamydia, gonorrhea. Oh, another dry lecture. <laughs> I don't know why I wake up for these. Somebody has their uh, not mustache. Oh my goodness. Me. Um, would everybody be any questions so far? Hi, um, Doctor Amazing. I just had one quick question. Yes. Is any of this testable? Okay. So what you see, what you hear, what you breathe, what you smell, is testable. Welcome to med school. Incurable or in oh, okay. Please, any questions so far, Doctor Amazing? Yes. Are you telling me that HPV is incurable? Yes, HPV is incurable. Oh no. <laughs> What experiences do you have? And what have you gained from those experiences? All right. It's interview day. I look amazing. All right, kid. It's all you. How it is, I don't think I would be a good physician. I know I would be a good physician. Everyone's been telling me that for years. I've known since I was five years old that I was going to be a doctor. And in fact, I've been in numerous experiences for the past several years, probably the past 10 years, that make me optimal for this position. Like back in 2015, I volunteered from the hospital, and in 2017, I volunteered with Women's College Hospital. Then in 2018, they sent me over to Oxford for summer. Oxford actually sent me over to Johns Hopkins Hospital in 2019. Anyway, I won't bore you with the details, but I've been all over the globe. I just think I already know all there is to know about medicine. I've watched um, different shows like uh, House and The Good Doctor, and um, I feel like I've just learned everything I need to know from them. So um, I feel like I'll just be ahead of the game and I'm way more prepared than every other applicant. So um, um, I feel like I'm an obvious choice. I was motivated to become a doctor after my experience with volunteering at the hospital in my hometown. 
where I made many meaningful relationships with some of the inpatients. I got the opportunity to make their day a little brighter by being in their time of need. Through this experience, I gained empathy, communication skills, and teamwork, which are all admirable qualities of a physician. Thank you for your time. Oh, what a great answer. Now, if I can only figure out how to save all these responses. Med IT.